Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to hack a finding a hidden GraphQL endpoint lab from web security application. So this lab uses a user management functions that are powered by a hidden GraphQL endpoint. So we are not able to find it in easy way. So we will do some tricks to find this hidden GraphQL endpoint. And also this endpoint has some defenses against introspection. So our mission is very easy just to find this hidden endpoint and then delete a user call it Carlos. And to do this, we are going to use inkwell extension. So if you don't know how to install it or how to use it, so please watch my first video in my playlist, call it the GraphQL API vulnerabilities. So without further ado, let's go and have it. And here we go, guys. So the first step, let me activate the Foxy proxy. So I'm using community edition. And then let's go to proxy. I'm going to double click to enter set button and let's go to HTTP history. So now let me refresh the page and then let me start mapping the application. So I'm going to test every button exists in the map. So let's start with the view details button. And here we go. I'm trying to find if there is any hidden function exists. Let's return. And I think there is something interesting in my account. I just test it. So this is a just a logging function. So let me use a fake identity. So let's say popo and hack. And here we go. So let me make another C. So I don't think that there is something interesting that I can test. So now let me check the HTTP history. So as you can see, guys, there is a post method in here for a logging function. I think this is something interesting. So let me send it to repeater and let's check it. So let me close enter Spectre. I don't need it for now. And let me resend the request. So as you can see, guys, this is a basic method. So it doesn't contain a JSON body and the return is a HTML. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to test some of common GraphQL endpoint names and see if this lab support one of these endpoints. So let me copy it and let me send this request to intruder and let's go to intruder. Let me select the endpoint. Let's click add and let's go to payloads. And here we go. Let me paste them in here. So I'm going to test with just the 14 uh, common GraphQL endpoints and let me just uncheck the URL in code and let me start the attack and now let's click OK. And here we go. Now I can recognize that there is a status of 200 and then all of them that 404, but only this one is 405. So let me just check the response. And here we go. So in here, there is a method not allowed and 405. Let me just see the 404 response. So in here, it returns a JSON response with error and message not found. Okay, so that means this endpoint doesn't exist, but this one can be exist. So this is slash API. I'm going to focus on it and let me close this one and let's back to repeater. And here we go. Let me just try it and change API and send the request again. Okay, now I found something very interesting. We know that the method is not allowed and we have something in here tell us that the get method is allowed. So let me use get and see. Now I do have an important message. So it become 400 bad request and the content type is application JSON and the query not represent. So this is absolutely the good indicator. Tell me that this method is exist, but I'm using it wrong. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a GraphQL body using a JSON format. So first, let me remove this one. Let me copy the content type 
and let's paste it in here. And now let me write a GraphQL body. So I'm going to open curly braces and then let's write, then let's write query. And in here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something called it universal query. So let me use it now. This is a query, curly braces and dash dash type name. So in here, guys, if I got a response, it means this is absolutely a GraphQL endpoint. And that's because every GraphQL endpoint has a reversed field called dash dash type name. So let me send and check. And here we go. Now I have a status of 200. I got a JSON response with a data field. So now I'm going to use it in InQL and let me just try it with another method. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, change this one to schema and then let me use query name and see if this is supported or not. And here we go. And now I got error message and I have something called a GraphQL introspection is not allowed, but the query contained dash dash schema or type. It means there is a GraphQL introspection defenses and that's why this method is not allowed for now. So let me just try some trick. Let me just make a space in here and try again. So it's still, but now let me back to the line and see. And here we go. Now we know the defense. So the defense reject the query when he match with a specific character like dash dash schema and then he find calibraces but when I back to the line this matching doesn't work anymore and this is how we bypass the defense so what I'm going to do now I'm going to back to the error message the GraphQL introspection I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to make some research about it let me close the foxy proxy because I don't need it anymore and let me back to search GraphQL introspection. And here you go, just go to the first line under the graphql.org. And now we here we will find some extra information about the queries. So now we can use this query to have more information about our schema. So let me copy and paste it in here. So I know that the defense is going to reject it. So let me back to the line and let me send the request. And here we go. Now I can find some interesting information about what are um, the schemas that I have. So I have something called a delete organization user. So this is a very fruitful information for me because I know that there is a schema called it user in here and also I can see it in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to use this query. We use it to check if there is a specific schema exist in our system. Let me copy and paste it in here. So I'm going to use user and let me paste it in here. So in case there is a defense, so let me back to the line and here we go. Now I have a positive response. So it means there is a user schema in the target system. So in case that I know I'm going to delete a Carlos account, let me try and see if there is an account schema and send. And here we go. Now I got null. So I'm going to delete user, not an account. And now let me search for introspection query payload. And let's go to the first research under the Swiss key report. And let's scroll down. And here we go. This is what I'm looking for. So here we go, guys. This is an introspection query. So every GraphQL endpoint have an introspection query. And it's going to give me all the schemas exist in the target. So let me just copy it. And here we go. And now let me paste it in here. 
and in introspection there is dash dash schema and I know that there is a defenses so let me back to the line and let's send and here we go guys this is what I was looking for so this is a very heavy JSON so what I'm going to do I'm going to select all of it and copy it and in my code editor I'm going to create a JSON file called response.json and here we go now I'm going to paste it and in case this is a just a JSON file I need to remove the header let me remove it and what I'm going to do now I'm going to inkwell scanner I'm going to navigate to this file so let's loot So it's under the GraphQL folder and here we go. This is the JSON file. Let me select it and click open. And now let's go to the response and here we go guys. Now I have a mutation and I have a query. So let me just close my editor and let's back to the Hayden. And here we go guys. Now I have a mutation. Let's looking forward. I have a delete organization user. And let's go to the query. I have a get user. So let's go to the delete and see the query. So in here I have delete organization user input ID. This is absolutely a user ID. So let's go to get user and let's use this query to find Carlos ID. And let's back to repeater. Let's go. So let me back in here. We have an inkwell. Let me paste it. And let's try with ID number one. So this is definitely an administrator. And that's it. This is an administrator. Let's go to ID number two. And here we go. This is winner. So definitely is ID number three. And here we go. So this is our target, user callus. So now let me use the mutation function, call it delete organization user. Let me copy it. Let me back to repeater and let me paste it in here. So first I'm going just to try it to delete the administrator. So I'm going to put ID number one. So I'm not able to delete the administrator. So let me delete the user number two, ID number two. And here we go. So I delete the user number two. So let me check if it still exists or not. So user number two. And here we go. Now we don't have a winner anymore. So let's go to delete our target. And let's say ID number three. And here we go. Now I think we solved successfully the lab. So thank you for watching my video and stay tuned for the next videos.